I want to provide an overview for some of the main themes that we'll continue with this week. Um, and some of these shouldn't be too surprising based on what we've talked about already. So one is organization. So I told you organization um, in part means boundaries. So our body maintaining different types of boundaries. Um, it also though means how the body is organized at different levels of organization. And I'll tell you more about what I mean by that. Um, both of these refer to the fact that life is organized though. Uh, number two is structure function. So the idea that um, the relationship between anatomy and physiology, the relationship between the structure of something and what its function is. Number three is gradients. Gradients are a difference in something. Um, so difference in temperature or concentration or charge um, or incline. Um, but it's going to be a really important in many, many different examples. And four is homeostasis, which I've already mentioned a few times. Um, this is maintaining a stable internal environment. So that, and that's consistent with life, right? So some narrow range of functioning that allows for life to happen. Um, this is going to use negative feedback. So negative feedback is a process that's going to allow us to maintain homeostasis. When we talk about negative feedback, we will also talk about positive feedback, but it is not directly related to maintaining homeostasis. So it's kind of a separate thing. Versus it's not directly involved in maintaining homeostasis. Negative feedback maintains homeostasis. Um, so that's what we'll talk about this week. One other thing I will talk about is biomolecules. Um, some information from chapter two that hopefully is review, but I'm gonna highlight a little bit about of what I want you to know from that chapter. So that'll be one other topic besides these four. These four are things that will come up throughout the entire year um, and probably in future classes as well related to these topics um, because they are such basic themes in anatomy and physiology.